Hello. Good morning. This is Ernie, everyone. The Houston Zoo, this is our special guest. He's here with Nick Larberg. Tomorrow's National Zoo Lovers Day. And if you're one of them, you've likely spent time at the Houston Zoo. So we are here to tell you all about Ernie, who is snacking away <laughs> on his carrots and his cucumbers. And yep. he's he's actually pretty smart. He, he knows some commands you were just showing us. He does. Um, so we use operant conditioning to work with our animals and it's positive reinforcement. Um, so Ernie? Turn. Yay! Oh, <laughs> I love it. Good boy. He's so good. Um, so he has the option to participate, and he knows if he does, he'll get, he'll get a, treat. a little treat. Tell us about him. He's a North American uh, North porcupine. American porcupine. So he's covered in quills. It's difficult to see behind all his hair right now, but beneath those hairs are quills um, that keep him safe from predators. He's just one of the amazing animals you'd see if you were to come and visit the zoo. Um, and with Zoo Lovers Day tomorrow, we've got a lot going on. Um, coming up the end of the month, this, uh, this month, we've got Brew at the Zoo. It's an adult only event to sponsor yeah, yeah, local help. breweries, local animals. Um, we've got adult overnights, camps, adult camps, kid camps, um, a whole lot of things going on. And then there's also a poll right now USA Today is doing to vote for the best zoo in the nation. So we all know Houston Zoo is number one, right guys? So <laughs> we need everybody to vote so the rest of the country knows we're number one. Right now, what is it? We're in 10th place. 10th place as this of this USA morning. USA Today poll, right. So we need folks to get on there. You can vote once a day. Once a day, every day. Until April 22nd. So get on there and vote. Let folks know Houston Zoo is the best. Um, we also have a link at clicktohouston.com where you can vote for that. But let's talk a little bit more about, about <laughs> Ernie. I love Ernie. And there are so many other wonderful animals at the zoo and, and displays that you can check out. There are. So this uh, later this year, we'll have our Texas wetlands opening up. Um, and the easiest way to help animals like Ernie in the wild is to visit the Houston Zoo. Um, every visit helps save those animals in the wild. The Texas wetlands is going to showcase three conservation success stories, American alligators, whooping cranes, and bald eagles. Um, so all three of those species will be on prominent display with that exhibit. That's amazing. Ernie can do one more thing. I don't know if you can try yeah, to, we can. Him to do it. Hey, Ernie. Ernie, right here. Can you wave? Good boy. <laughs> Good job, Ernie. Oh, they're all so right. cute. I would have never thought that a porcupine <laughs> can like communicate somehow like this. It's yeah. amazing. With, with all those quills on his body, it does make it difficult to provide veterinary care for him. So yeah. while it looks really cute to have him stand up and wave like that, it gives us a chance to make sure he's got no scratches, scrapes on, on, um, on his belly and gets his blood moving this morning. It's a little exercise oh, for him. I love it. All right. Thank you guys so much. So much fun every time. Thank you, Ernie. You can find all this info and a replay of this segment online at clicktohouston.com. Also, that link to vote every day, once a day, to make Houston number one across the country. We'll post it on the video tab on our homepage after the show.